Hi there and welcome to this new video. I'm sorry I haven't been around for a while, but I've been busy uh, finishing off my new course on Udemy, uh, Learn the Art of Substance Painter. Now, if you want to learn Substance Painter, I've done a really extensive course on Udemy. It starts from the basics up to more complex uh, objects and you actually get to create a whole entire scene all textured using Substance Painter and B2M basically. Um, so, you know, if you want to check that out, the link is in the description below and there's a discount attached to that coupon. So jump on over and check it out. Okay, so a friend of mine uh, made me aware of this little bit of software called Materialize. Now, if you've used something like B2M or Crazy Bump, this is kind of like that, essentially. It's free, so if you're short of... Uh, you know funds then this is perfect and uh, I've not used it before by the way so this is a really this is a first for me as well so I'm going to test it out just to give it a quick run through grab a texture um, test it out see what we can get out of it and uh, see how it goes so here we go so what I'm going to do I've got this brick texture let me just open it so you can see I've got this brick texture which I've got from my library and um, we're going to pull this in here and we're going to create, like you see, a, like you can see up here, height map, diffuse map, which will be this, normal map, metallic map, smoothness, edge, and AO map, I guess. And lots of options down here on file format you can save out as. Uh, save project, load project, post process. So there's lots of little buttons and things we can uh, play with here. So let's get going let's bring this in and see how we get on so click on I think you click on O for open so you could open I don't know what the P is we'll have a look at that in a minute but um, oh I, I'm, I'm assuming it's open because it's on all of them so you could open on just a normal map if you wanted to tweak a map you could probably bring it bring it in here and tweak it so let's click on open and let's go and find our brick texture and there it is it's in okay so that's in and nothing applied to it just brought in flat 2d texture like that so click on previews now highlight let's click on that that does nothing at the moment okay show full material there that post process show full material okay it's flat because none of these have been filled in Cool, okay, so how do I get rid of that? Go away. Um, I don't know how I get rid of that. Don't want to quit, I don't think. Okay, let's just carry on and hopefully it will sort itself out. Ah, right, click on that again, no. Let's just park that down there. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be there or not, but there we go. Okay, so let's do height map first see now I've got this in here this is highlighted create can't create a normal map yet but I can create a metallic map which I probably won't do because this is brick uh, I can create a smoothness map I cannot create an edge map or an AL map so let's start with the height map first boom okay that's cool so you can see this is my diffuse map here. And this, I'm guessing, is the height map that it's creating. That's showing me the difference between the two there. That's quite nice. Okay. Um, I guess I can play with these. Yeah, this is very much like B2M. If you've used B2M, then you'll, you'll know what this does. You want this to be a little bit sharper, I think. Yeah, something like that. sharpen it up what does these do frequency contrast equalizer so we can increase the oh yes okay there we go I can see this working quite well actually um, okay that's interesting that's kind of normalizes that let's pull that right down okay so this is adjusting some of the frequencies you can, I guess you can just balance it out so it evens it all up. Doesn't seem to do a lot. Okay, that's just an overall. 
Okay, so final final gain. We can have a lot or not so much. Let's just try this. Okay, let's just set as height map. So I guess I have to set it. Boom, like that. Okay, so then it goes into the height map slot. I see. Okay, so let's have a look now. Show full material. Whoa. Ah, okay, so that's reversed. That's not good, is it? We need to flip that. Oof, that's a bit strong. Okay. Um, let's create again. Okay, so it keeps the same settings. So there's no edit button. Once it's created, that should change to edit, really. Uh, like that one has, but this hasn't. Okay, let's see. What would be good is if I could see the thing here. So surely... I want to be able to see it as I create it instead of having to click on that all the time. So now can I can I change it now? Um, preview? No, create. Okay, so that needs to work. I can't edit it while I'm looking at it here, which is which is not good. Well, at least I don't think I can unless I'm missing something here. No. Let's click on the create. Right, we want to pull that down. Final gain. Let's put it right down. Final contrast. Ah, okay, let's flip that and see, see if it... Yeah, that's more like it, isn't it? We do want it flipped a bit. We want to flip the... Because the um, grouting in between the bricks, or whatever it's called, the cement is white, it's, it's sticking out further than the actual brick, which is never good. Let's have a look at that, show form two. That kind of worked. No, it didn't. No, that's really messy. Okay, let's take that down even further. Final game. See, I want to see that. I want to see. That's not very good. Okay, I'm not. I want to be able to see that like that as I adjust these values. Okay, I'm going to play with this some more to get this working. And I'm going to come back and tell you how I got on. Because watching me slide things around and sliders is not good. So I will adjust this and let you know. Be right back in one second. Okay, so I finally got something working here. You can see I've got some height on my bricks. The only thing I've got still is diffuse and height. And I've adjusted my height so my height, my bricks, so you can see they're sticking out quite nicely in that uh, frame there. Uh, okay, so what I was doing going wrong was if you want to edit this, you have to click on create, edit your sliders, and you can't see it as it would affect in the full material uh, you have to, you're sort of guessing at this point and then you have to set as height map every time you make an edit and then click on show full material so that process there needs ironing out they need to fix that because that's not a good workflow it's just kind of cumbersome uh, having to click on that backwards and forwards all the time okay so i'm going to leave that like that this is purely just a test for your purposes i guess it's got a pretty good result there i, I quite like that my height map is definitely working you can see you can see it working there. I've got bricks sticking out and my grout has gone back. You can see the shadows being cast on the bricks there. Yeah, around here. So that's okay, that's cool. Okay, so let's create the normal map next. Um, you can see my normal map, my height map is still working there. Let's click on create and that's what it will look like. Let's just use it from default and see what we get. So down here, set as normal map. It goes into the slot. Show full material, and there it is with a normal map. Now that's pretty good. I like that. Yeah, that's not bad at all, actually. Once you combine the normal with the height map, it kind of works a lot better. Okay, so let's get rid of this shininess because that is not how I want it. So we're going to skip the metal map because there's no metal in this. I'm, I'm assuming you can do it the same way. Let's just create it anyway. Keep it black. Boom. There we go. Let's have a look. Show full material. That's ooh, ultra shiny and glossy. Now I'm going to clear that. I don't want that in there. Okay. So you can see metal map went in. 
let's create a smoothness map. Dink. Yeah, we want it quite dull, and I want that to be flipped. Actually, this. Let me just see if I can. There we go, like that. That's what I want. Set a smoothness. Boom. Let's have a look at the effect that has. Show full material. And there we go. That's kind of dulled it down now. You can add variation to that, I'm sure. That's the only thing that's sort of lacking. I mean, if you wanted to add like a grunge map on top of that, you'd have to take it into something like Substance Painter. But they are bringing out another package shortly. Um, I forget what it's called, but we'll talk about that at the end. Um, let's just create... I don't quite know why you'd want an edge map. Um, I'm not going to create an edge map. Let's go straight to an AO map. So let's create this. That looks pretty good straight away. So let's set that as the AO map. And now show full material. Okay, so that's with AO. Mm. No, that's... I'm not sure if I like that now. It's kind of... Kind of destroyed the look of it. Let's just create... Let's just take that down. Because I think that's way too much. Um... Okay, so yeah, we want to just flip it around here. Let me see here. Your spread. It's just a bunch of sliders. Reminds me of um, yeah, all the other ones. Okay, that's interesting. Let's just do that. Set as AO map. See what we get with that. So you shouldn't get any AO in on the brick so much. And you should get a lot in between. So show full material. No, that's not a good look. Let me just try this again. Let's take the power. Set to zero. Show full material. It's kind of lost its vibrancy, hasn't it? Something's not quite right there. Um, it's just for bringing this right down. Uh, show full material. Okay, there we go. It's, uh, it's got that chalky, powdery look. It's not bad. I think you could get some decent results out of this if you played with it for a long time. Um, this clicking around needs some work, but I think, you know, this was used for, I think it says on their website. Let's just go onto the website and have a quick look. So this is their website. Uh, let's just uh, let's have a look at about. Okay, here it is. So, you can Tells you all about it if you go onto the website. And I will put the website link in the description below. So you can go and grab it. And they've added, actually, since I downloaded this, they've added, they've updated this. And it's uh, interesting. Uh, let me see. It was, says here somewhere that it was used in creating. Yeah, and the Uncharted. So Materialize was used on the Chuncharted collection to generate metallic smoothness and occlusion texture to update most of the environment materials in Uncharted 1 and 2, which is really interesting. That's quite cool. And now if you click on bounding box, this is what's interesting. Remember this package is free to use, so from that point of view, it's pretty pretty good and you know it's not bad at all. It's not gonna replace Substance Painter. And we also have Alchemist coming sometime this year or early next year. And that is just phenomenal. It's just going to wipe the floor with any of this stuff. I know you'll have to pay for that. But what you can do with it is just going to be amazing. So I'm really looking forward to using that. Um, so if you click on this bounding box software here, you can see they've got these other things coming. So Spectacle, Cinematic Model Viewing coming someday. And Smatter, Layered Material Painting, which is kind of implying that it's a bit like Substance, but who knows. And I'm sure they're all going to work together in some form. Um, but there we go. So, so that's Materialize. I hope you found that useful. And I'm hoping you can edit that. 
And you could probably... You know... Adjust the colours on it. Saturation's right up, so... It's not changing though, so I don't know why that is. Like I say, I'm fresh to this as much as you are, so... Okay, ah. Final contrast, so I increase the contrast there. Sat as diffuse. Show for material. Mm, didn't make that much difference. <clears throat> but like I say, you can play with this forever, for a long time, like a lot of these packages. And it looks like you can get some pretty decent results. That's a pretty decent looking brick wall there. And it only took me, what, 20 minutes? So I would say this is pretty good overall for what it is and what it does. Uh, it's a good bit of software. It just needs refining that whole process of viewing move because you want to see full material you know if i had a window over here where it was on all the time and you could see it or something i don't know um just so that you can when you're editing when i go in here and i edit height map i want to see the full material i don't want to see this i was pointless seeing that because that's just the uh that's just the diffuse map pointless so this is actually a bit even though it's quite a cool feature it's a bit pointless because it shows you neither the end result nor you know it doesn't show you what you're after so that's pointless good feature but pointless now if it was a this is what it's like now and this is what it's going to be like when you've edited it that would be much better so thumbs up from me but needs some work thought you might like it and um if you do give it a go and um that's it for now I will see you next time.